the strength of the project is the fact that it, it puts together all our stakeholders uh, in research. And uh, I mean educators rather than researchers, uh, citizens, uh, funders, uh, charities. It cannot deal with everything, but it can be a portal. And portals are very important when people uh, have to find knowledge about such a complicated thing as ROI actually is. So I think it's very important, there's one place to go. I think it could come together uh, into a really useful sort of toolkit of resources for researchers that, that really encourage that kind of joined up thinking across a wide breadth of issues. Um, I think it's, though, it's enormously challenging. It may start helping to change slowly the system of research and innovation in that it moves away from more closed and expert-centered and a technocratic way of procedure towards opening it. If this project succeeds in producing tools that are useful so that when someone, whoever, scientist, but also a politician, administrator, general citizen, whatever, who enters in the final tool that probably will be some kind of a website or some kind of interactive site and he enters and finds answers to their questions, useful answers, that will be a success. So I think the RRI Tools project is potentially very valuable if it can actually develop a few tools and processes that it can use to communicate with science and with industry and with researchers and with universities. It's a booming topic and it's of the essence that we, um, that we present this in, in an accessible and, and, and productive way to everyone who is interested in it.